Can a United States F-35B take off and land like a helicopter? What makes the F-35B so special? Is the F-35B able to take off and land helicopter pad? Watch the video to the end. 1. First F-35B Vertical Takeoff Test An F-35B test aircraft completes its first ever vertical takeoff, VTO, at Nas Patuxent River, MD, on May 10, 2013. While not a capability used in combat, VTOs are required for repositioning of the STOVL in environments where a jet could not perform a short takeoff. In these cases, the jet, with a limited amount of fuel, would execute a VTO to travel a short distance. 2. About the F-35B Quoted from EurasianTimes.com, one of the most advanced fighter jets in the world, Lockheed Martin's F-35 Lightning II is a fifth-generation stealth jet with high maneuverability, supersonic speeds, and multi-role capabilities. With a speed of Mach 1.6, 1,200 miles per hour, and range up to 900 nautical miles, the F-35 has unmatched avionics, and is equipped with the Pratt & Whitney F-135 engine, considered the most powerful fighter engine in the world. Out of the three variants, the F-35B has a short takeoff, vertical landing, STOVL, capability, which can be used either on land or on an aircraft carrier. The STOVL feature makes the jet land vertically like a helicopter and take off in very short distances. This allows it to operate from austere, short field bases and a range of air-capable ships. Costing more than $100 million per jet, the F-35B is one of the most expensive jets in the world. It is operated exclusively by the US Marine Corps, apart from being exported to Japan, the UK, Italy, and South Korea. The US Marine Corps currently has around 80 F-35B jets in service, divided into five squadrons, and plans to purchase a total of 353 jets of this variant. The F-35B variant received basic certification in 2015, which allows the plane to fly patrols and conduct basic strikes, but they are not yet ready for more advanced missions. In February 2021, Marine All-Weather Fighter Attack Squadron VMFA, a-225, uh, Vikings, officially transitioned to Marine Fighter Attack Squadron, VMFA, 225, becoming the latest one to join the F-35B Squadron.